Okay, hello, hello, it's me, I'm back. It's been a while. Um, I have been busy, busy. Um, so we've got some big news to share. I'm gonna share that, I think, at the end of the video, or I might make a video, it's just updating about Saturn, um, and just kinda have a chat with you guys all um, about what's going on there. So I thought we'd do another gear haul. Um, and you guys can kind of see all the gear I have for my new dog. First things first, I thought I'd introduce you guys to Neptune. He is a black Labrador retriever from Echo Labradors in Saskatchewan. They have had many successful service dogs. Hi, oh hi, hi. He was temperament tested. Um, hi. Um, by the breeder and they have placed several service dogs in programs in different things so that was very exciting for us. Are you ready? Say hi Neptune. Hi Neptune. We've been working on a lot of stuff so we'll kind of get started and I'm hoping maybe we can do a bit more vlogging now that he's here. Okay so updated gear hurl. We will get started kind of on the more boring stuff and we'll get more excited. So we are going to start off, I have some rough wear booties that don't quite fit Neptune yet. Um, I believe they are 2.5 or a 2.25. Um, so probably he's probably getting pretty close to the time that these will fit. So hopefully we can start wearing those because the salt has been really bugging him. Um, which, yeah, I'm sure that's kind of annoying for him. Uh, next, we kind of have this little winter jacket that I just bought him. So it's like ribbed on the front and then it zips up at the back. And if I can, I'll insert a picture, if I know how to. I'll insert a picture up here or like on the next slide or something. Who knows? Or maybe it'll be up here. Um, so yeah, it zips up here, but it's... It's annoyingly already almost too small on the first wear, so we'll see. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. Next, I have, uh, I don't know if we've used those yet. Maybe I'll move on to the treat pouches. Um, so I know a lot of people get like the typical treat pouches, kind of like this first guy. This one's maybe more of like a silicone one. Um, it's got some dog hair in it because dog hair sticks to it, which is a reason I'm not a huge fan. Um, but like more of the traditional clip to your pouch, go from there. I don't like them as much. They're not super stylish and they're like, I don't know, kind of annoying. So I opted for two things. So I got this little clear plastic case I think it's like a school purse or like something it said something like that I'm not sure um from Herschel and I actually picked it up at Winners if you're Canadian I don't know if America has those but um I got this it's like plastic um and it like is a crossbody <laughs> honestly I love this this is like my favorite treat pouch everyone can see that I'm clearly feeding just kibble like I get less comments um about like oh you're really feeding your dog a lot like you know what I'm talking about hi Saturn say hi Saturn <laughs> he says oh yum um so then it kind of yeah it's just a crossbody nice the second option is like this mini backpack that I also got from Winners. I keep a little poop bag in the front. Um, this mini backpack and it just zips up. So my only two things about these is they aren't treat pouches. So when you like <laughs> lean forward to like pick up your dog or treat your dog or something, like not if you're just like leaning like this much, but if you like bend over, you'll knock the treat pouch and all the treats will come scattering out. So. I usually like half close it and then like go like that and usually if I'm just walking I'll open it but I just try to like make sure I zip it with the backpack I've been using it more because I can like maneuver both zippers so I can like zip it to this situation and it's a lot easier but I like how this one looks more so you know um, okay I have I also recently got this tactical collar 
um, from Raincoast K9 on Instagram. I highly, 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 highly recommend them. Um, it's like $40 Canadian, I think. Um, it comes like a nice like little leather thing. The plastic buckle. So this is nice for like an airport situation because the buckle is also plastic. Um, the only thing is I wish that they did have an option to like level this up to just metal or like level and you know what I mean like leave this plastic or level this up to metal and I don't know why but leave this to plastic if you would you know what I mean so that you could be like hey I want the same product but I want like a little bit more so I don't know maybe she'll come up with that option um she is quite new with it but oh I was wrong it, it isn't folks I am wrong it is not airport safe this is metal this bit is metal ignore me um, but yeah, there's a, I really like it. Like there's this plastic, um, elastic to like, so that the things aren't flapping. Like I just really like it. Um, I also got this patch from Raincoast K9, which of course it's flipped backwards because, well, maybe it'll flip by itself. Um, so it says working K9, um, it matches the, so they're both from her. So the colors match really well. And yeah, honestly, her patches are I have like 13, no, I have 16 now. It's gotten out of control. Highly, highly recommend. Um, look her up on Instagram, tell her I said hi, or tell her I sent ya. Um, not, it's not sponsored by any means, I just really like it. Um, so I got this, it's like a green, sorry, I should have, um, green light for at nighttime. Usually that's good for walking. Okay, so this next one I like splurge. I got this leather, um, leather handle collar from <laughs> the canine ring. What is it? The I'll link it below. It's like the T TGR, the golden, the golden ranch. There we go. Um, it's from the golden ranch on Instagram. These are pretty expensive but worth it if you're looking for a good leather collar. It's more expensive for Canadians because um, we have to pay import and like it's in, their prices are in USD, so it, that obviously bumps it up. But you get like your own custom pants stamp. Um, I did at the time request that they had stamp his name, but um, I don't know, I didn't get stamped, so um, I just kind of emailed them and I was like, hey, mine didn't get stamped. So, and I think they changed the options so that you can do it differently online so that doesn't happen again. Um, okay, so then I have, this is for when he's a bit older, honestly, like, I like matching tactical things. I like the fact, because I have so many Ring Coast K9 patches and other patches. Maybe I'll get those and show those as well. Um, I have so many patches <laughs> that I like options. <laughs> so I have this coyote collar from LOF Defense Systems. All through December they have a code, or uh, all through December they have a discount, guys, which is cool. Um, that's not sponsored either. None of this stuff is sponsored. I'm just out here giving free advertisement. You know how it is. Um, they have the whatever Cobra style buckle. So that's nice. And you have the option of a D ring, it's metal. Or because I have two collars for them. Yeah, I'm that bitch. No, just kidding. Um, you have the option of upgrading it to like a thicker, more heavy duty. This one's obviously been worn more because it's like black. And then this also has the cool thing about LOF Defense, their stuff is pretty expensive, but um, lifetime warranty. One of my, oh my God, it's doing it again. No freaking way. One of the stitches broke and it kind of made this like bloop, but it, for some reason, they like stitched it back together because it was coming. It has like lifetime warranty, but it seems to be doing it again. So maybe there's a, maybe I'll be emailing them. Who knows? I would, I probably won't to be honest because they've already fixed it once, but um, yeah, it like broke and there was like a little rib, a lot worse than that in the collar and it ended up like going like looping down and they fixed it for free. Um, okay, to match the Coyote collar, I have a really cheap Amazon vest. <laughs> um, it was just like a really, really cheap one because I don't use this color very often anymore. 
and um, I just really wanted it to match, and so now it matches. Yay. Um, okay, so then I have, oh, well, I have a black tactical ice fang vest that is in the bedroom, and Saturn is at my feet right now, so that's annoying. Oh, maybe I'll grab that. One second. My upstairs neighbor started vacuuming while I was doing that, so here we are. I have this black ice thing. It's just the one buckle. Um, it's got like a patch place on the front, a little front clip, which I don't ever use because I don't recommend anyone use a front clip harness. And I am a dog trainer, but we'll leave it at that. Um, well, if it's for safety's sake, there are exceptions to every rule. We all know this. I have a working dogs patch, and this is one that my friend Jess, um, I'll link her Instagram below. Um, she got me this for Christmas this year because Saturn, I just, anyway, it was very nice. And then I got another raincoast canine one that's a Santa baby on it because we love a good raincoast. So yeah, that's my ice fang. I thought I'd show you some patches, so I grabbed those as well. Um, these are, <laughs> these are all of my raincoast canine patches. So I have one that's like, I have some holiday theme ones. Here's a Christmas, naughty and nice, straight up baddie, mm -hmm. happy howl, howl o -een. I can't, I'm, my brain with that. Tricks for treats. Um, these both say anxious dog needs space for when Saturn was having a really anxious time. And if we're going anywhere that's going to be like really busy, um, I'll tend to put these on his vest. Um, if he has to come, usually I try not to break him make him come. This one says financial burden. I have two that say service dog. One that says no dogs. This one's not, this is just an Amazon in training patch. Um, this one is for Saturn. So um, it says not a Husky, um, highly trained and still an asshole and asshole. And then we have name patches for each of them, which I do not ever put the name patches when either like when Neptune is working um, or like even when Saturn is working, like I don't, no. Um, so then I have this gray backpack. It's on a thing. It's just like got a handle. I got this at Winners, I think. Eh. Eh. Falling apart. Um, little backpack. It's got a handle. It's a Y front, which I really like. Um, and it's got double straps, so it's really good for Saturn. I haven't tried it on Neptune. I would like to. Um, I was going to get some decals for the side of it, but I think I might save that for a rough wear. I'll decide. Who knows? It's all up in the air. All right. And then I have, <laughs> let me reach for it. Oh, let me reach. All right. And I have this dog leash. It's just a slip lead. Um, I don't usually, I'll use the slip lead more in the house, which it's got some chew marks. It's a little old. Sometimes I'll use this with my clients. Um, so I usually use a slip lead more in the house, less outside, because um, it's, I like to be a little bit more positive right now. He's quite young. He's only five months, baby. Actually, five months in one week. Um, okay, so the last two most exciting bits. So I have on the front of this vest, an in-training um, leash wrap from Raincoast K9. Can you tell I like her stuff? Like guys, it's really good quality. Saturn has like di dove into water with like one of these collars on and one of these patches and they don't come out. Like she does great. I love her stuff. Um, anyway, I, she, her, her Instagram does say not to do that. Like there's a warrant, like read her, read her highlights if you're going in there. Um, okay, so I have this service dog, do not distract, hence the in training on the front. Um, vest and this I got for Saturn when like a while ago but it's for Neptune now and um, it was like a 19 inch panel which is way too big for a puppy so I just like sneaky sneaky used the big panel and like black thread and like just like Im like basic embroideried it in so I like made a little flap embroidered and then I just like flattened it I didn't iron so that, but it's like black so you can barely see it and then I can like seam rip that, take it, and then he'll be able to use this when he's big. Um, I really like this vest because it is super basic. This is like 
airport vest. Like anytime I'm doing something like super serious that I'm like, hey, I just don't wanna have access issues today. Like I don't wanna, you know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that we should have access issues because we choose to wear like fun vests, but the reality is sometimes that does happen. And I know that in Canada that can contribute just because there's less like knowledge about service dogs versus in the United States. So I tend to do, um, try to do like really simple, super professional looking vests um since i had a massive access issue with saturn um anyway so then i have my other vest. this is from patience and love on instagram it's like patience and love 143 um then i have a vest that i bought used and it like was brand new she just like had never used it which was kind of good for me um, and so it's just like a, it doesn't have any pockets. It's just like a panel, which actually I really like. It looks really good on Neptune. I'll try to insert a picture of him in both if I can. Um, and when I say if I can, it's because I don't know how to do a lot of like the editing. I'm trying to learn, but like, I had barely had time to make a YouTube video, let alone, you know what I mean? Like learn how to edit them. So I'm trying to get more into YouTube, but like, bear with me, please. Okay, so I have this blue vest. It's like royal blue. It matches my Raincoast Canine collar, which I'll probably end up getting like a black with like, I don't know, neon yellow collar as well. I think that'll be nice. Anyway, um, so it says like service dog in training, which I like that it says in training on the side. It's really nice. And in big, do not distract because Neptune is a lab and he does not need to meet any people while he's in vest because he loves people. Um, yes, so this is my stuff. While I was getting my vest, my sushi came. So I'm going to go eat that and then probably train my puppy. Um, and then maybe I will plan a script to let you guys know kind of what's happening with Saturn going forward, what happened to Saturn, and kind of the mystery behind it all. Um, yeah, so I will let you guys go. Nice chatting. Um, I hope to see you here in the future. I know the vlogs aren't as popular as gear, but it's not like I'm getting gear all the time. So if you guys did make it this far because you enjoy our vlog or enjoy our content, please let me know what you would enjoy seeing in the future. I like filming vlogs. I think it's fun, but I know not everyone cares about that. I can do like my favorite enrichment toys and I can do like <laughs> some training ideas, but I don't think tons of people are going to be into that either. Um, so just trying to think what you guys would like to see. Maybe just all dogs all the time. Who knows? I could do that. We can make it happen. Let me know.